Hi guys, it's Rachel here. I'm back recording on my phone because uh, my I tried to do a video yesterday and it was a silent movie, so I'm not going to post the, the silent movie again. So um, what I was showing you and what I did in my video yesterday was these. Now, I had sat, I've got, you know, so much of this sort of stuff here. Um, and so much of this stuff here that I just really need to bust it because um, it's going to get in my way. So I wanted to show you what I was doing with it. So basically um, the other night, Saturday night, I after dinner, I sat and in front of the TV just collaged a whole lot with my scrap pieces of paper. And they all need to be decorated. So I'm thinking these will probably be pockets and then there's tags. Um lots of little things as well that I prepared so I thought this was a nice quick way some of these pockets that are folded over and stitched um, used up just using up all of my scraps and I had done some on the video but um, obviously it didn't record and I did a few other things um, so I'll just have to show you those but look how many I've gotten through so many and um, that's two there um, that are ready for me just to decorate and there's another pocket and um, that's going to be a, maybe a big tag or I'll trim a little piece off there's some little ones so like heat there's lots there so it's really great it's really and even if I didn't do them all now that one wasn't um, stuck down so I collaged it um, and the thing is I've got lots of um, I've got lots of that's another one with going to be with a pocket and there's a pocket as well. So I'll just put those there. Um, I've got all these scraps, so I'm not, I've not been going and using my um, new things that I've got printed. So I, because I don't pull them out because I've got all these scraps. So I'm going to get through these scraps, you see. Now I wanted to show you what else I did. Um, well, let me pull them out here. I don't know. I did... You saw those. I also did these big pockets that, not that one, that's an old one. Um, I did these big pockets that I absolutely love as well. And this one here, facing the other way, very soft and pretty. And, oh, and then I got a whole lot um, together and um, just made these little um, booklet things inspired by Laurie Girl on the Ridge. That's a bigger one, but I might tear that one down. And then this one here. And I just folded a little piece of paper over the top. Oh, this one has. Um, sometimes I, if I can get them off, this is from the spine. Where, the, where, um, it was where it was covering where all the the um, signatures were sewn in in the antique book. Sometimes I keep those because they're lovely and textural. Um, here's another big one, some smaller ones. Oh, that's a pocket from the other day. Uh, oh, I've got some more here. So I did a whole lot of those. I'm going to make a whole lot of them because they, they're all papers that I, you know, some of them will be included in the journals. And so it's something that someone can play with really more for collaging. You see on the other side, they really are scraps. There's printing on the other side because it's where I cut down my pages. So um, they're fun things to do. And then the other thing I did, and I did this on the video yesterday, but um, obviously it's a silent movie, so I'm not publishing it. Um, now these are pieces of uh, coffee dyed paper that I have and um, so these I just put some of my embellishments on and these are going, these are again inspired by um, Laurie Girl on the Ridge and um, I'm going to attach them all just on two sides so you can slip something behind or they can become a pocket but you flip them down and I've seen lots of people do that. I think um, Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Da does that a lot as well. I've seen them a lot but I didn't remember. And I watched this one video by um, Laurie of it, she, just showing a journal that she'd done, and it reminded me of those. I hadn't re I hadn't remembered about these things, so they're the ones that I did. Not many, um, and that's it. So I might do uh, a few of these um, now. What I went ahead and did yesterday um, when I was a bit tired of, um, which I think is a good idea, um, is I've just gone ahead and prepared a few things. Uh, so I've got them there stitched ready to go so this one oh this one I ha I haven't stitched it down oh, I can't stitch that one down the side because I did that first I needed to stitch this part first and then attach it there so I'm just going to have to glue that one actually I might do it now 
Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do that again. Uh, just it's a good way to have your bases ready and then you can just pull them out and I uh, say okay what do I need for this journal and pull them out and if they're not even collaged at least you've got some a variety of different tuck spots and pockets um, that's a side one that you can whip out I prepared a few of these I want to do a few of those maybe we'll do those today I've got that one to do here's another one with stitching that's a little one there and I showed that, I can't remember if I showed that in the, I prepared a few of those. And then here, another side as well, that one. Well, it doesn't really matter which way it goes. And then I've got some whole lot of little, oh, and here's another stitched one. Oh, that's going to be an envelope. I wanted to do some more of those. Um, so, I mean, look at all these bits that I've got. It's just ridiculous. And there's more. There is more. And that's going to be a foldy. Oh, here's another stitched one. See, there's so many. I was just playing around. So this was going to be a little... Um, pocket and what I did was it was a long one I'll show you how I folded it um, so I let me just eyeball it a bit I think I'd went something like that yep folded it and then folded this back so you've got a side pocket there and a little pocket there I mean it's silly isn't it but it's fun something different so you've got to stitch that bit there first um, and then you can stitch around the whole thing. And I uh, did I stitch? Yeah, I stitched there just to make it stronger because it is an oldish. This book was in, what was it, 1920s or something? Um, you know, it could be a little bit frail. So if you've got stitching there, it makes it a little bit stronger. So that's how I did that one. But um, I kind of with those like to do the stitching uh, before I start. Oh, here's a bigger one. So what I want to do is I will also make up a sample of each, not decorated, and just keep it. Maybe I'll put it into my, I have to finish my 100 day project book. Um, I might make another one like that and just keep all these little examples that aren't decorated in those books. So anyway, I'm really sorry about my video yesterday. I wanted to surprise you with a video and it didn't, it didn't work. I, I gave my iPad another whirl. It wasn't the iPad, it's the, the, the microphone and, and I will buy another microphone, but um, for now I'm just going to use my telephone but the thing about the telephone what I found was um, it took a while took a few goes for the computer to recognize um, the like it recognized the iPhone but it didn't it kept saying my folder my file was empty which is not true it's not empty so I, I like this this idea here is perfect for these strips so I'm, I'm going to struggle to be on screen because I've got my tripod here. Um, I, 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 I thought about putting you on my overhead um, arm, but I was worried that then you, I won't be near the speaker and then you might not be able to hear me. I mean, so many worries, aren't there? It's just, can't, there's no, I mean, when you're doing videos, there's just no relaxing. There's no enjoying the crafting because you've got to worry about all these things that might go wrong so anyway woe is me now I'm going to put that one there and just tear that by hand and um, so you won't see me gluing because I'm all the way over there and you don't need to see me gluing that's okay and I'm just gluing on my glue book and I'm trying really hard to the page that I'm gluing on I'm trying to, you know, use it as much as I can before I tear it out and recycle it because otherwise I'm never going to catch up. So these are getting into a bit of a mess because I haven't tidied them up since I started doing this. I've just kept them out because I want to keep on going until I feel like I've gotten rid of a few, lots of these scraps and book pages. Uh, so I'll give that a tear. The good thing about having it here on my tripod is I can look up every so often and see if I'm on screen. And that needs to slide under there. So give that a tear there. And now I'm ending up with all those bits. Okay, and I'll just glue. Really going through the glue too. I had to go and get some more just in case. I mean, I always have it, a, 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 and I, when I get them, when my stash of glue gets down to two, I'll whip out and go and buy four more, 
just so I never run out. I need to get that in there. It's sticking to my fingers. This is a very bodgy way to craft, guys. There we go. Now, if I get my little card, I have to get a wet one. Oh, I've got two. I need to. Oh, they smell nice. They're new ones. Now, I did. I did try. Like lots of ladies suggested to have a towel. The towel. Well, first of all, I always forget to prepare the towel before I come in here. I've made a mess here. Oh well, I'll have to stick something over that. Um, yeah, I forget to prepare the towel before I come in here. That's my problem. So I think I'll just always have to have a stash of wet ones. So there you go. There's another one. I mean, it still needs decoration, but that's if you prepare your bases, you just whip them up. They just they're done very quickly. So that one's that way. So if you have all these little pieces that are very useful as a base, just put that there and give it a tear. Oh, oh well, that wasn't a very good idea, was it? I normally have might just have my mat there. And I'm going to capture that one, I think. Yes, so tear that off. And of course, you could do all kinds of things with these bases. You could do some stamping and um, all manner of things. Okay. And then... I'm just looking in these little bits over here to see if I had anything small, but I don't. I kind of need something bigger. I am now getting into a big mess. I may have to tidy it all up. That's a bit of a Tracy Foxy. That's not quite big enough. Let's go over here into the bigger pieces. Oh, that one's nice. That will be good there. Or will I put it here? I like it here with something else. I think I'll put it there. So let's just get rid of this edge. Okay, and then I'll just measure it here. So the temperature's gone down a little bit here, but it's still very humid, so it's very sticky outside today. Even though it's only 30, it's very sticky. Okay, and yeah, I didn't post, I, I decided not to post the video because uh, besides it becoming, a, it was there was talking in the first five minutes and then it, I, I must have jigged the cord and it went silent, um, is because it was all of this sort of thing and um, without the, I did quite a bit of chitter chatter and um, without the chitter chatter, um, it probably would have been a very boring, just gluing strips on things video. I'm going to put that one there and I need to tear that and I'm just going to tear this bit off it because the bottom there is torn as well. Now what I might do is I might just move some of these strips over here on the other side so I can move over a bit more into the camera area so you can see. Oops, oh my goodness. Well, that's going to be collaged over, isn't it? That's a bit of a mess. Let me just see. Yep, I'll stick that there. Cover up my little happy accident, as Lily calls them. Now let's see what's going to happen here. And you know what I would like is some, or maybe some, yeah, some of that. I'll tear it better. Let's see what else I've got in here. Oh, there's a bigger piece. There's a piece of that. Maybe I'll get a smaller piece of that. Or some straw paper would be nice. And I'll, oh, that's nice too. 
Okay, so let's have a look. First of all, I'm going to tear that better. I don't want that little pointy bit. So put that there. And a piece of that. Yep. Okay, so first I want to glue down the straw paper. little strip down there and that's good and then I can resist no longer I'll have to fold my book page now I'm getting into the decorating aren't I I should just leave that so we'll take this page off and I did say I was going to move those strips somewhere else because they're in my way. So, put that back in there. Now, these are two different widths here. I don't want to get them in too much of a mess. Well, I'll have to sort them out again anyway. So, let's move these. I'll put these ones over here my projects over there there we go and I need those bits okay so there's another one let's do this little one oh it's hot today really hot just trying to see if there's something different to use so I hope everyone's well oh I love that um, and you had a lovely weekend that one. Oh, that's nice. Yes. So let's get rid of this edge here. I might as well tear it all the way down. So what did we do? Oh, we had a, a dinner on Saturday night, which was fun. And we got home a bit late. So I was a bit tired on Sunday morning. Um, and then I think I don't remember. I don't think we did much on Saturday. I just got some work done, and Steffi went for a swim at the pool, and um, and then on Sunday, oh, we headed out to the beach as I do at five o'clock in the afternoon, and um, our friends were there, so we just sort of sat and had a chat, and then it was aperitivo time. So then we had. An aperitivo. I don't know if you know what that is. That's um, a pre-dinner sort of drinks. It's a big thing here in Italy, and um, it's a lot of fun because uh, you get your drink, but then you get um, you get um, they'll give you things to eat as well. So it could be chips, it could be uh, crostini, it could be bruschetta, there could be olive ascolane. Um, so yeah it's really cool so um, lots of bars in Italy do that at about um, 5.30 in the afternoon 6 o'clock it's aperitivo time and they'll set up a table uh, well the ones that do really good aperitivo they have a table set up and you um, you can go and you know get yourself a plate full of food the only thing is then you don't eat dinner like I didn't eat dinner last night um, so, but but Lulu didn't have anything, obviously, and um, and Steffi obviously he mustn't have eaten too much either because he was hungry. So they went off. I said I'm not eating, and they went off and to the restaurant and had um, a steak. <laughs> I stayed at home, which I was very happy about. I normally love going to restaurants, but no, I did not feel like it after the aperitivo yesterday. So um, when my younger brother was living in London. He loved the aperitivo in Italy, and um, he was like, "Oh, when I go back to Australia, I'm going to do something like that." But it, I don't know. I don't. I don't know why they don't do it in Australia. I guess it's probably something to do um, 
with the cost. I would expect it's not cost effective to do it because otherwise they'd be doing it. Um, okay, so we're going to make this going to be like an envelope thing and it could be a floating envelope or it could be a pocket enveloping thing. So yep, I'm really stash busting today. Well, I did yesterday as well. It's just that you didn't get to see it. I need to empty out my bin too. I think something stuck to my finger. There we go. So I'm going to put that one there. And I don't care that it's got that little tear there because I'm collaging over the top. It's not a problem. probably stick that one down there I think yep I will but I need to put something there and it could be this one I didn't tear it very well so I could put that there I'm just creating a base as I mentioned just to um, to decorate to have a base to decorate so that means I'm going to put I'm not going to totally cover it but I might put you never know, I might put some rice paper or, um, you know, something, a bit of textile and then a focal point sort of thing. So that's that. I might just put, make, like put some textile across there. I'm just trying to find one. It's a bit plain, so let me just see. Um, oh, I'm, I am, I am using up these narrow ones. I don't have many of those left. Quite like the blue. Let's see if that will work. Wrong side. It's a bit narrow. Otherwise, I've got some coffee dyed papers in here or some straw paper what about a little piece of this piece of this there and then where did my other bit go that I just tore oh this bit put that there no okay Um, put all these bits. So I'm getting low on those ones. What well, does matter? I've got all these other ones I can use. Oh, I like that one. That's what I'll use. So that's a little piece of medieval mirage. Actually, yes, that's the right way. Let me see here, put that there. Oh, it's perfect. It's even got some, some book page on it, which is just fine. That can stay there. Yep, and then that's ready to go. You could put something in there if you wanted to. You could put something on the back, you know, one of these big pieces on the back. But I have to decide what I want to do with that one. So let's work. Oh, this one I probably need to have some, use some bigger pieces, I think. I need some bigger pieces for that one, but I might be able to do this one. Uh, so I like this for to be able to write on it this nice piece here so let's put that let's lock that one in I think I'll put that one there I need to take the bottom off and Yep, 
so that's going to go there. But then let me see what else. I don't think I have any nice big... Oh, that's a big piece. So that could slip... Oh, that's perfect. That will slip under there. Perfect, because I don't obviously don't want that bit there. Just, that's not very sticky on that side, so... Get plenty of glue on it. So I've been... Um, I did my first batch of... It's just drying, of just tea dyeing with the doilies and it's getting a nice effect and I actually like the tea a lot because it's um, it's paler than the, the coffee and I like both but I do like to have some pages that are softer because it's a bit more me I can still use this one it's that side that's all sticky And I think this is a really um, great way. If you're in a um, sort of creative rut, which we quite often get into, I've been in one, um, you know, sort of just sort of go, I sort of go in and out of my room and think, oh, I don't know what to do and that sort of thing, you know, that kind of feeling. Um, when you have that feeling, this is a great thing to do, I think, because um, you just sort of, gluing things without having to think too much and um, and you know using up your stash and and you don't have to think about any sort of decoration or anything like that oh here's a nice colorful piece I think this was a bit of a medieval mirage I can't remember so let me just tear off I like to tear off my white edge first Get rid of that. Or I could put it that way. Maybe I'll put it that way. No, I think I like it going. Well, then it, no, then it's it's very um, lining up with that, isn't it? So I think I'll put it that way. I'll just tear this off. It's a little bit wobbly. That doesn't matter. And then that I need to tear off here. And then what I do is I just put my ruler on here. Am I on screen? Yes, just. And then tear that bit off. Then we can glue that down. Like so. And I probably should have had my blue on the bottom, but it's done now. And then I need something up there. Quite like that. Yes. So I put that there and grab my ruler. There we go. And that's ready to decorate. Okay, what else do I have? Got this one. That one's going to go that way. So this, I mean, some of these strips are just the perfect size. Whoops. Okay, that's the up. So let me just get rid of this. Sticky, it's all very sticky, so let's get rid of this. Okay. Now I can't remember which way is up, but anyway. Oh, I think this the, the jagged edge was meant to go on that side. Normally that's the way I do it. 
put my straight edge on this that straight edge I know that's straight there but I don't know for some reason I like that to be that way and then I can just use that and just I have it in my little card here somewhere but I can't see where it is okay that one and we'll do one more could do this one this one doesn't need such big pieces okay so let's see now these were two, this was one that was folded in half, but it didn't stick down very well. So well, that piece is perfect there. So I just sort of separated it and then I flipped it around the other way. So the sticky, the, the gluey bit was on the outside, so I don't have to worry about it sticking to, you know, sticking the pocket closing, if you know what I mean. Before I um, end the video, if I remember, it's always if I remember, I will um, show you just quickly how I made those little booklet things, but they're very easy. I mean, you just put them together and, and stitch them down, so it's not, but I'll just show you just anyway, just in case. I need to get that in there. I mean, ideally, you would do that this part before you stitch it, but um, sometimes you just want to prepare your bases and you don't have, you know what you want to do yet, so you have to sort of um, fumble with it a little bit. Okay, so what do we need? don't seem to be using these medium strips very much. I've got that. Let me just see what I've got over here. Just looking for something with a bit of colour. I don't want all of the... Oh, that one's nice. use that one so much I don't want the journals to be filled with all the same things I didn't just get rid of that one okay so I might put that one there or across like that no I think I'll put it here like this so I'm just going to get rid of that that one down I 
was checking the phone still recording and it is so thank goodness for that and I could even though it would be sideways it doesn't matter I think that's pretty there so let's just get rid of this little white bit Flip it over and we need to put something on this side. Maybe something like that. hold it there and tear off this bit so yes so that going back to the aperitivo if you come to Italy I highly recommend you do that because um, I can't really oh, except for Florence I can tell you a place to go but it's not a sitting down place it's a standing up place um, uh, it's really cool in, and even if you go in winter we always go there we've been going there since well my husband's been going there since 1990 it's the same owners they were two young brothers they were the same age, about the same age as us um, and well now they're our age and they had literally have this hole in the wall in Florence and um, in Via Cimitori and um, they you just stand there and drink your wine um, standing on the street and and you can have like crostini and they also make um, rolls as well really yummy rolls um, and and you drink your glass of wine and it's really cool and very inexpensive and fun so um, and it's a hole in what when I when I took my older brother there he just loved it he wanted to go there every day um, and he just said isn't it amazing with you know just a small teeny tiny space they're literally a hole in the wall with all these wines and things behind it looks really cool um you know Chianti Classico and that sort of thing and and he said with just such a simple concept you've got a great thing thing going quite like that I think I'll put that there as well might get might be covered up in the end but you never know oh unless I decide to put it up there just a minute So not much going on in this video it's really just a stash busting idea I think I'm going to put it up there changed my mind changed my mind as I normally do there we go yes that's better well maybe not it's a bit regular isn't it now what am I going to do put something else up that piece about a piece of this just to break up the note. No, well, something will happen when I decorate it. Now, inside, I could do some color. I've got some biggish pieces here inside for inside. So let's see if I can manage to do that one. Because I might um, normally go for sort of bigger pieces of paper. I've got these, no end of these. So this grid um, is like a vintage or antique grid. It, I mean, it just looks like regular grid paper, really, but I printed it. It's from um, the Graphics Fairy. I don't know if it's the premium site or if it's available to everybody. I don't know.
right, so put that there. What are you doing, Lily? What? What are you doing? Nothing. Oh, I can hear you stomping around. What are you doing? I just went to the bathroom. Oh, okay. Hello, hello, Lulu. Hello, guys. Hi, Lulu. <laughs> she said I'm a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> oh well I live to be a weirdo I'll put that to there entertain to entertain you I hope well I hope I entertain you I aim to entertain you good life would be boring without a bit of entertainment So let's see here. So I, if I put that there, then I've got my little bit in the middle to sort out. Tear that. Lots of things flying around in my head. Too many things, too many things I want to do. And no time. No time. Well, today I was a good mama. I did a bit of cleaning and we had to go and do the shopping because we literally didn't have anything left in the house and um, that took a few hours and um, yeah so, and then I came home and prepared lunch and then we then I did some cleaning so that was my morning I really like that there but although if I put it in the center of the journal it will kind of disappear however I'm going to put it there okay so then I'm going to what I'm going to do is end off the video and I'm going to tidy up my mess and then I don't know but if I feel like it I may put put the video back on again and do some decorating but I don't think I can do that with this big mess on the table so I'll have to sort that out first so you might get two videos today I'll be nice instead of separating it into single days I'll you know I'll think of something else tomorrow make something up for tomorrow so that's the inside so I won't fold that I've learnt the lesson don't fold it until it's dry yes lovely and that's oh I like that that's going to be very nice so let's just put that there okay so I'll show you what we've done and I showed you all the other ones I'm not folding that one I've got two pockets there and that's the inside this is a side tuck this is one of those flippy uppy thingies um, this is a little envelope. Um, this is going to be a pocket like that. And so you've got the tuck in there and a tuck on that side. Uh, that's got the tuck there and the tuck there. And then it can be a pocket or it can be a big journaling card, whatever you like. And then this is one of those side pockets. And you can be double, one there and one there. So that is it. Um, and I will be back in a minute with... Some decorating, possibly. Possibly, yes. And that's that side. So there you go. So stash busting today. So thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.